Hey guys, welcome to part three of my Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song playthrough. Let's get straight into it. I may restart this stage because <laughs> if you saw the end of the last episode, I got really pissed off at something. So I may just quickly restart the stage and get up to uh, where I was about to go into the bloodbath party thing that all the characters keep talking about. And we can finally <laughs> find out what actually freaking happened at this party because the, all the characters just talk around it I'm like just tell us what the shit happened okay just tell us I'm at the point I was so last time you can't come through here hi uh, I live in the building and I was told to come give it all right, I already oh, listened to this a... audio last time we need to There's copy no one, one of their appearances of them. obfuscate blah 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 so you can enter using a mask of a thousand faces Okay, so need to copy huh, his uniform. Right. Now I just need to find a secluded spot. Uniform copied. How do I put the uniform on control? This should do the trick. Oh, are they not just gonna say, look, you clearly have the same face as the woman who was right here and you just put a police uniform on? We're just, we're just gonna pretend, okay. Sorry, but uh, we got a full house. Office is tripping over each other already. Only forensics is allowed in the crime scene. And the feds, of course. No sweat. It was just in case you needed help. I should find a uniform I can use to get in. Oh my lord. Seriously? <laughs> that, okay, so they're just gonna let her keep coming back. <laughs> with the same face, just with a different uniform on. Oh. Uh, okay, so how do I even... What am I even doing then? Assuming I need her outfit. But she's over there. So how do I even... Uh, I don't even remember the controls anymore because I've been playing Cyberpunk uh, Phantom Liberty the last couple weeks. And I'm like, Ugh. you know, when you jump between games and you're like, how do I even play this? You know, like, what, what am I meant to be doing then? I don't understand. Can't I just go invisible and go in there? It's taking forever. How do I go invisible? I can't remember. Is it two? Yeah. Why didn't I just do that in the first place then? This isn't rocket science. Keep yeah, it simple. That's what I I'll thought. update the guys. Where You're taking over oh, the that's investigation. Right. I can't in interact and with we'll things. We'll put all the stabbing victims in crates and send them out to the balcony. Exactly. Do you have any idea what happened? It's got to be some kind of cult, right? At the moment, we're more inclined to think it's a terrorist organization. Again? The fuckers. Don't worry. We're used to it. We'll get them. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Should I go for hers? Uh, space. Okay, uniform copied. And there are I'll... lots of Vex. Go in here. Richard, he sensed me. He's here, but something's wrong. Hmm. Okay. All right, now we're gonna return with the same face, different outfit, and the cops are just gonna uh, say, that's cool, ma'am, come in. Good evening, officer. Thanks, uh, bitch. Gentlemen, all these bodies, what the hell happened? Hmm, interesting. Body bags, what could that mean? Dead bodies, obviously, Laisha. Fuck. <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> uh, gosh. Oh my god, Laisha, seriously, you don't need to repeat this very stupid comment. Uh, I just got here. Can you fill me in? I've never seen anything like it. 
It's a real bloodbath in there. Do we know what happened? Captain Paulson thinks it looks like some kind of goddamn cult. But I've heard the feds talking about terrorists. Come on, Leisha. We don't need to ask what are all these bodies. The fucking hell. Uh... The feds are here already? They showed up the minute we got here. We didn't even get a chance to see everything. How'd they get here so fast? They know who did it, obviously. Do you really think it's terrorists? It's weird, but hey, it could be. There are guys who are burned to a crisp, dismembered, beaten to a pulp. With those guys, you can expect anything these days. What do we know about all these bodies? Those are the ones we can take down already. The ones that were stabbed in the chest need to be put in crates and moved to the balcony. The feds will process them. We are not allowed to touch them. Stabbed how? Looks like some kind of sacrifice. They all got stabbed in the heart, it looks like. But if you want to make yourself useful, go see Paulson. Where is he? You just missed him. He just went into the living room. Okay, thanks. I'm going to take a look around. Hmm. We're going to need backup. I'm busy. Casings everywhere. All of them large caliber. Mom, I'm scared. I don't like it either, Sugar Fangs. But your mother has a job to do. You understand? If you're scared too, then why don't we just leave? Because... Hazel asked me to do this. I like Hazel. She lets me come with you. But there are too many people here. And they're all torn and broken. We have no choice. Can't you feel all that blood everywhere? Are we going to be hungry like this the whole time? We'll figure something out. Say, I was thinking. We haven't played a game together in ages. I know. I miss our games. Why don't you think up a riddle for Mom to solve? I... Okay. Hunger like that. Not now. Not here. Seriously, this is a lesson in why you don't bring children, even if they are vampires, to fucking crime scenes. With a bunch of bodies everywhere, honestly. Ridiculous. A vessel with more holes in him than a junkie. We're off to a good start. Wow, so even Leisha calls them vessels. Disgusting. Blood. Kinds were killed here. Very astute observation. Somebody spilled wine here.
still have work to do. Sorry. Yeah, and your job is to block the path until I've reached that linear point. Look, Mom. Do you see all those big holes? Yes. Given the number of impacts, there must have been a lot of people taking shots. It's a good thing holes can't hurt us, huh? Yes. It's a very good thing, Pumpkin. The people who did this wanted to make sure there would be no survivors. That much is clear. A glass of wine with traces of cherry-flavored lip gloss. Donors were killed here. And not just one. I'll stay here, Mom. Thanks, Pumpkin. All right, guys. Listen up. The feds are taking over the investigation. So don't touch a thing. Put all the stiffs with stakes through their hearts out on the balcony. They'll take care of them. All right, go. You know what you have to do. Shit. Uh, I have to find Richard and fast. All said and done, it's probably better that the feds are handling this okay, case. Okay, so all the vampires are outside. resources to solve it. Yeah. There's a note. My dearest Edward, I've been busy lately, as you know, but tonight I'm finally going to have some time for us. To thank you for being so patient, I organized a little surprise for us with Himiko. I know we haven't been able to get together for a long time, but as you know, the negotiations for this historic reunification were extremely complicated, and we needed time to come to a compromise that both sides could agree on. If you can look past my absence, I'd like to invite you to join me at midnight in the East Room. A friend will meet us there. You probably don't know her, but since you're so fond of bondage, uh, <laughs> I'm sure you'll appreciate her unique talents. Uh, so is Edward Jara's boyfriend and they're like into I kinky shit? What surprise Jara had in store for him. Um, oh, okay. Miko's business card. Boston's Queen of Ropes. Kinbaku Mistress. An ancient art for your pleasure. Boston's Queen of Ropes. Is that that? That must be what it. Oh my gosh, can I go back? Ugh. How do I go fucking back, honestly? Um. <laughs> I don't remember the name for it, but I know there's like that art of ropes on. You know what I mean. The Japanese rope tying thing on people's bodies. They must be into that. Can we go get Mr. Teddy after the... Study wound. Looks like it was made by a shotgun blast. And we're not talking 12 gauge, but something bigger. Someone wanted to make sure there would be no survivors. We've made good progress already. Hey, uh, Central Dispatch sent me over to help. Captain Paulson, but you can call me Chief. Sure thing, Chief. Right. You heard the orders? I... Everything we find at the scene needs to be shown to the feds. Got it, Chief. And the balcony is off limits. But why can't we go outside? The feds got here first. It's their rodeo. They secured that area to store whatever they decide to collect. Fast, they must have known. What they'd find. Exactly. 
Good point, officer. Usually, they show up after us if it's a new case, right? Because we're the ones who call them. But that wasn't the case this time. Not at all. They even seemed annoyed to see us show up. But then they must have thought, it's nice to have help processing the scene and collecting evidence. Oh, all right. So, uh, what do we know so far? Lots of Vix. It has all the makings of a drug deal gone bad. He's not buying it. But you have your doubts? I do. There's too many things that don't add up. Like what, Chief? Bodies in accelerated decomposition. Even some skeletal remains. Shit. Kindred were destroyed. My hunch is that the Feds are investigating a cult. But it's none of our business. But you don't seem too thrilled about that? Am I wrong? Is it so obvious, officer? It's the first time in my entire career, and 30 years is a long time, that I feel like we're babysitting a crime scene. Babysitting? We've been ordered to secure the premises, lend our experts, and not ask any questions. Thanks for walking me through it, Chief. You report it to them if you find anything suspicious, okay? I don't need their kind of trouble. Ugh. LR3. There was a container here earlier. Hmm, interesting. Uh, sorry, uh, only federal operatives and their assets are allowed in this area. Sorry. There's so much evidence to collect. Oh, okay, I so see. You have to find a federal. Only federal operatives yeah, and their yeah, assets are allowed up. in this area. Sorry. I have to find a federal person and claim there's them. There's been wine in this glass. And there's a trace of lipstick. Cherry lip gloss? Yuck. Oh my god, you already said this about another glass. The glass in the lounge. Yes, people were drinking wine at a party. Shocking. Need to be real quiet now. Sorry, only forensics can go in there. Since your hunger, what's going on? Shit! It's starting again. Mom, are you okay? Do you feel weird too? We've already had that talk, Halsey, my love. Don't, don't look at it. So, have you come up with another riddle for me? Yes, I've got one. I'm listening. It's not too hard, is it? No, no. Riddle me this. I fear the sun more than anything, and the mortals have been fighting me since forever. If they catch me, they keep me in a box. Who am I? Well, the obvious answer would be vampires. Dominate. I don't want to use my last urge to do that. It seems counterproductive. The kindred, the cold. So what did she say? I feel like kindred is too obvious. Been hiding from the dark forever. Oh, the dark could be in the cold. The death. When people have been fighting people forever, and when they find me, they put me in a box. Can't, if it's kindred, I'm gonna be annoyed because it's the obvious answer, but we're gonna go with death. That's an easy one. It's death. The vessels put it in a box, in the dark. You were overthinking it, Mom. Fuck That's off. not it. 
overthinking, really. You are a clever girl. Hmm. Not death, then. It's the cold! It's kept in the fridge, and the vessels don't like it. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, don't you think? No, it oh, isn't. Wow, you were so right. I was way off. That's Palsy just stupid. Scores one more point. And zero for mom. But I haven't said my last word. The cold can I'm be anywhere. Enough. That's subjective. Are you feeling funny too? Are you hungry? I'm almost done, okay? Let's just keep playing. Ugh, the hunger. It's too strong. Damn Did it. someone come and bag a briefcase in the kitchen? A briefcase? Shit out of luck. I'm out of large size evidence bags. We got back up on the way. They'll have some. Lavender soap. Someone must have tried to mop up a stain with it. The music is good at least. Can we go get Mr. Teddy after the- Shut up, no one cares about Mr. Teddy. It's the reference of the container that was here. wine so little food for so many thin blood wash Don't break anything. <laughs> the owner's gonna be thrilled. A briefcase? What is it? It's a small suitcase. We put important papers in, Pumpkin. What do we have here? Tons of evidence. Do you know if the team from Forensics LPU has shown up yet? No, I don't. I need them to process the briefcase I found. And the invoice that was with it. An invoice? Yeah. For some glass tubes. Address to some warehouse over on Cellar Street. Shit. There's a red salon in that district. We've got to hand it all over to the feds. I can do it I if... already gave them the address. They'll probably send a team to investigate when they're done here. I've got to warn Hazel. He's got the same uniform. There's a name engraved on it. More. That rings a bell. Technology. Let's see what's in it. Supplier invoices, client files, all in Beryl Underwood's name. Cool. Better not leave that here. Otherwise, they'll trace it back to us. See? It was good that I invested in technology. Even though I fail every um <laughs> persuasion attempt. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay, so I'm stealing this dude's outfit. Cool. I'm gonna have to have a blood so what thing you soon. You can't come through here. Sorry. I haven't finished collecting evidence. Alright. 
Alrighty, let's go to the bathroom, put the outfit on. Oh, I didn't expect that. Oh my gosh, it's Lavender just the fucking soap. lavender soap again. <laughs> Is it gonna empty my blood just doing this? Not yet. Okay, I won't fill up my blood just yet. I've got two points left. Come on! Our hands on deck can't hurt. Thanks, bitch. What's happening? What's happening to you? Mom. Fuck. Can I put drink the blood now? Eliminate six hunger. Plus obfuscate point for the current scene. Suspicion increases by four points. Well, how do I know my suspicion points? Fuck it. Yeah, we're gonna drink it because I don't care. Yes. Come on, please. We're done with the photos. Now we need to collect samples. All right. Sorry, I'm on a tight schedule. Sorry, I haven't finished bagging this sample. Where are you taking me, Pumpkin? I told you I'd be a big girl, but it's really hard. I really don't feel good. Not even a tiny bit. It's all this blood. Me either, Pumpkin. It's not easy. <sighs> Let's take a little time out then. I'm getting More sick of this shit. supposed to be coming up with a riddle for me. Oh yeah. I forgot. I'm ready. I'm listening. Okay. But These it's stupid the last fucking one, riddles. Right? Don't bring children to crime thinking. scenes. So. Fuck. Riddle me this. If the child of Hazel Iverson is a fire of my child, who am I to Hazel Iverson? Hmm. So if the child to Hazel Iverson is her sire, who am I to Hazel Iverson? Well, you're not her direct child, but I don't know the terminology of this world enough yet. Do they still consider second level descendants of, like, if your child has a child, is that still considered your child or not? I feel like she's gonna have a bitch fit if I say you have a blood bond. I feel like you would technically still be her child, you're just like once removed. This is stupid. If you embrace Hazel Iverson's child, you'd create a blood bond with that kindred and- But mom, you know you can't embrace the kindred. If you could, then you'd have lots of sires. <laughs> That's right. What the fuck? Your riddles are tough, pumpkin. Now tell me all- I didn't say anything about Easy embracing baby. anyone. The sire of my child can only be me. Of course. I get it now. And so, if Hazel Iverson is my fire, then I am. Oh my god, this is so stupid. I would have never. I need to that. start picking the most Small obvious answers ideas, for this crap. Mom. There's too much blood everywhere. Can she just go crazy and make something fun happen? And also, I mean, Mom, I don't want to see Richard. You can stay outside if you want. I'll hurry up. I guess. That whole We've thing was stupid. I don't want to disappoint Hazel. Also, you shouldn't care so much about Hazel's opinion. She's a manipulative bitch. At this point, I dislike almost every character in this game. <laughs> oh shit. Come on. I have to find Richard. Hey there. Perfect timing. You the explosives expert I called in for? No, no. I just got here. I'm back up.
I'm here to do the preliminary autopsies. You do know that the feds are sending everything back to their own lab. Apparently, we're not supposed to stick our noses too deep into this shit show. What game are the feds playing? Fantastic. Can I help you with anything else then? I'm not one to turn away a helping hand. Let me brief you on the zone we're clearing now. We've got a stiff in the room on the right. Looks like he died from blunt force trauma. Anyway, we've got orders to pack them up as is for the feds. Don't bother with the report. They're taking care of everything. All right then. In the room on the left, there's a corpse we need to analyze. But I'm warning you, it's a real mess. The people who did this are crazy. It's all priority, just check the boxes. I'll get started immediately. Sorry, I've got myself knee deep in something I have to finish first. Shit, Richard. Hmm. If you pull it out, can they still come back? I don't know how it works in this vampire world. come back. It must only be like a silver stake. They sure did a number on you. They're here. They found us. Before I knew it hit me. I had a stake in my heart. I've never seen anything like it. These mortals aren't afraid of us. Shh, gentle. You shouldn't be here. You should be at the Institute. Calm down. What happened here? The mortals who are here, it's the Second Inquisition. <sighs> what makes you say that? Are, are you sure? Yes, there's even a man of the cloth in charge of them. Monsignor Stanford. They mowed us down like so many blades of grass, all of us. So, they found us. We have to go on the others. Wait, there might still be kindred here. We can't leave them behind. This is insane. It's irresponsible. The prince asked me to find Miley, but I need your help. Miley? Well, now I understand. The prince had you released against my orders, and she sent you here. And you'd rather obey her? She's using you. There's no way I'll help. Ask her for help since you're here for her. Oh, God, we get it, Richard. You have a big pee pee and you're upset because she's, you know, she's both you and Halsey's little dog, and she both wanted to just choose you. As her preference, so dumb. Zero percent success. <laughs> uh, I need to start investing in some of these stupid dialogue option things. <sighs> I don't want you to go back to sleep at the institute. Please don't leave me all alone again. Okay. You didn't show up at the Elysium. I thought you might need help. Now isn't that ironic? The doctor needing help from the patient. But I was right, was I not? I... Yes. That's not the question. It's obvious that Hazel is manipulating you. Yeah, like you she are, cares Richard. About me. I don't see why it's an issue. Does she care about you or about your premonitions? Yeah, you don't care either, Richard. You just want me as your fucking test subject. That argument doesn't hold water. Hazel's not the first person to take an interest in our gifts. Princes have always sought glimpses of tomorrow to better rule their domains. Take Quentin King, for example. Yes, I know. 
She wants to separate you from me, I'm sure of it. What has she been telling you about me? She believes that Halsey should be under my care. Proof of point. And that I alone should decide what's best for her. Don't tell me. She's here with you. Of course she's with me. I couldn't just leave her. Oh, this is just getting better and better. Right, it's a good thing I keep my emergency kit at the Prince's apartments. Why? I'll give you a dose once oh we're back God. there. Oh my God, should be fuck this Richard guy. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Fuck this guy. I never promised that I wouldn't ever go back. But first, I need to finish what I came here to do. That's not how it works. You can't just interrupt your treatment whenever you feel like it. Richard! I'm fine. Since I can't diagnose it, I'll take your word for it. Hazel should have respected my instructions. What do you mean? She should have followed the treatment I prescribed for you, that's all. This issue is not over. I will have words with her. Let's get out of here. You go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Alicia, that's not what you I- You want me to trust you, but you don't trust me. It's not that. I'm... I'm just worried about you. Get going. The clock is ticking. You can, at the very least, let me help you. Here. With this, you should be able to temporarily impersonate anyone. The fuck was that? Blood or alcohol? Or what? I'll find Miley and catch up to you, okay? She was with me when they attacked us. She was? Yes, she was injured, but she managed to escape down the hallway. I heard them capture her. I can still sense her. She's hurt, but she's still here. Thank you. Come on, we don't have a minute to spare. Oh, and tell them they have the address of the Red Salon on Cellar Street. We should expect a second attack there. I must inform the court. Be careful. I'll be counting the minutes until you return to us. Okay, what don't if like Richard. Help, I'll be able to find Miley for Hazel. Do not like Richard. <laughs> Seriously, I am struggling to like anybody in this game. Really struggling. Whereas I feel like in uh, Bloodlines, even the characters who had, like, bad intentions, like, uh, I forget his name, the lead of the Camarilla, the dude, the prince in that. Like, he was a prick, but he had a, you know, an amusing characterization, and you still liked him for what he was. But these, I don't know, these characters, they just, they just aren't endearing to me at all. They're just, like, annoying pricks, basically. Um, anyway, what I was going to say at the start was that, okay, so... It seems like it's uh, humans that are attacking them and revolting on them, and they staked all the vampires with wooden stakes, which does appear to only incapacitate them, not kill them. So why why would they have not used silver stakes and actually killed the vampires? Why would they only have incapacitated them? Like, do they just not know? Or was there some purpose that they wanted to capture rather than kill the vampires? A cigar. Barely smoked. That's where it was stubbed out. 
Oh my god. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm interested to know more about. I didn't... Okay, so I need to go out that other room, but I didn't go in ah, this room. Finally, yeah. the Calvary. Thanks for coming. Dude. Ah, oh, this is the... Is this Edward? The guy who's into the Japanese um, rope art thing. That's a knife wound. <laughs> Bringing a knife to a gunfight? Oh my gosh, his fingers are gone. That's a knife wound. <laughs> Bringing a knife to a gunfight? Oh my gosh, this mechanic is really annoying. They took him for dead. He's barely breathing. He just... Is this dude a vampire or not? Are they just gonna... He doesn't have a stake in him, so he must be human. And they're just like, eh. How is he dead? Not a room with spare. His fingers are gone, but there doesn't appear to be any other wound, so... Oh, he's got a rope around his neck. Huh. Interesting. This attack was prepared. So is this Jara's human boyfriend? Not a room with spare. It must have been screwed onto an injection gun. And the fibrogen. That's an improved coagulant. I've heard that if it's used on one of our kind, it can keep us from regenerating. Or even using our powers. A real nasty concoction. There should be a body here. Uh, there's a coat on the ground. A vial of some sort of chemical. Fibrino Genodyne BB. Sunrise Group London. That vial must have been screwed onto that? something. Seems like something you wouldn't want the masquerade like to get out that could link back to the masquerade. Like why is this weird anti-vampire chemical here? This attack was prepared. Seven years of bad luck. Have you learned anything? I'm just getting started. Well, actually, it has been an hour already. There's just so much evidence to collect. What do you think happened here? We're still missing some pieces, but in this room, there are definitely signs of violent struggle. And there's definitely been torture. Torture? Judging by the condition of the body suspended above the bed, I think just some s and session gone wrong. Huh, I see. Alright, why don't I bag this room? How far did you get? Examine the spatter trajectories. Get us enough data to calculate spray velocity. We'll need it. I'll keep collecting samples of blood and body fluids. Alright. Do I really need to do this? There should be a body here. There's a coat on the ground. Yes, I know. You've said the same thing like 80 times. There is no blood in here, though. Why am I doing a blood analysis? Like, besides down there. Torn off. Oh, Jara could have done that. Looks like someone's missing an arm. Some sort of whip, with blood on it. Wet clothes. Oh my god, go back. Such annoying controls. Why 
Is there anything else to do here? Ugh. Oh, there's not really... whatever. I told him I was going to do blood splatter analysis, but whatever. Stood wasting vessels like that. A reinforced container that locks from the outside. Not commonly used to store mortal bodies. Or is like the FBI in on it where they're like not killing the vampires, they're taking them somewhere. I think these golden tubes are so pretty, don't you? Uh, well, Pumpkin, that's one way of seeing them. Sorry, only special agents are allowed in this area. Watch where you're putting your feet. Oh my god, do I have to go all the way back there to change his uniform? I copied his uniform, didn't I? <sighs> do I have to go back to a safe zone to do this? Fine. What a massacre. Ah, so he's no, FBI. Serious injuries. I like how no one cares that her face is still the same. I wonder will they say... Will he say different things to me now that I'm a FBI? My team's gonna be a while. Okay, I see. Actually, I should be able to just go this way now. Evening. Here we go. I wonder what's hiding here. Someone snipped a cigar here. Oof, this thing reeks. Whoever smoked it must have left a trail of stink behind them. Am I meant to do the Auspex thing or something to smell the whatever their scent was? Is that what one is? Oh my god, I don't remember. Like monsters. Sorry. I'm busy. Hey, you! Come give me a hand. We have specimens to move. Uh, here are the containers Richard told me about. I sense something. It's coming from over there. Mom! It's dangerous! I know it! came from the roof. Stanford was right. We brought down some high value targets. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Your clock is ticking down. I'm sorry, did he just like openly admit they were killing them? Don't touch those papers. Shit. There are names on these files. I'd better get him out of here so I can take a look. Don't bother with that. Those are Stanford's files. It brings paperwork on a job like this? Yes. So his novice can record whether they were captured or exterminated. Oh, if they have intel on us, I have to find out what they know. 
His novice is busy, and... Uh... Agent Olsen's got a lot to do. But he's handling it himself. Oh, all right. See you later. I feel like that'll just make him sauce if I insist. Something to dip someone into. Must be for the kind. Sorry, I don't have the time. So, has forensics processed the bedrooms? Yeah, I think so. They, uh... You... think so? Isn't there anyone here that can inform me about anything? I've been asking for an hour. I must give Monsignor an update detailing how long this is going to take. Let's not keep him waiting, then. But the local police are very... Just tell them Agent Olsen sent you. And we will see how high they are willing to jump. We still have bodies to evacuate and samples to recover. You bet. You can count on me. Yeah, so the FBI are 100% in with the human revolt against the vampires. Crown, bank and trust, Nix. Hmm. From the looks of their gear? They knew what they were getting into. It looks like armor. They also suffered losses. This one's missing an arm. You know, the one I found in the bathroom, I'm guessing. S A D. The sad. At least I can put a name on the attackers. At this point, I don't even blame the humans because, like, the uh, vampires are all pricks. And they just see humans as trash to use, basically. I'm really busy right now. They showed no mercy. They burned both juice bags and kindred alike. Ew, juice bags. You're disgusting, Leisha. Absolutely disgusting. Fuck the vampires. Organs. Are they cutting us up into pieces? Whoa. A am I seeing this right? They are collecting us. Dust. They didn't just kill neonates. I wonder who that was. Bones. Probably a neonate. Rotting flesh. That kindred had been embraced recently. So I have no blood. They're collecting to... us. I can't believe it. I don't have the, enough blood to do this. Hmm. Unless I go suck someone's blood. Which I wanted to avoid because last time I did that I accidentally killed someone. More boxes. But that guy in the other room was by himself. Will that make my suspicion rate go up? Though? I don't know... I don't know how... How do you know your suspicion rate? Safe zone... What does these mean? Ah, finally, the cavalry. Thanks for coming. Oh, 
Excuse me. I was about to ask you for a hand. I thought you were a colleague. Why has he got zero blood? Why can't I suck his blood? Ah, uh, this is stupid. Ugh. Were any of the other ones alone somewhere? So what are you gonna tell us? Is it because they they have suits on? Is that why I can't eat them? How do you? I thought. Oh, there's a thing in here. Suggest serious injuries. The wall was literally blown apart. Uh, it's everywhere. Why can't I suck any of these people's blood? Fuck. I swear. This doesn't look like the ammo for our surgical strikes. My team's gonna be a while. What the fuck? Why is it? It's only got the F on him. What the fuck? I wish I could save and reload. So? Nothing. A photocopier and some office supplies. No corpses anywhere? No. It's the only room without a body. But it sure smells like death in here. Yeah. Makes our morgue smell like a flower shop. You get a look at what they took out to the balcony? No, everything is boxed up. Even the chief has no idea what they're up to. do that my thoughts are wow what the hell happened here that sounds like Richard preparing vessels with injections a donor shot full of lead she's wearing a red salon vessels uniform oh, I remember now it's the effects of the drugs that Richard gives them to enhance their flavor. Disgusting. Retracted pupils. Even though she's dead. A glass that had blood in it. He's dead. At least some of us were able to fight back. With gear like that, he's gotta be one of the men who hit us. S.A.D. With the other guy, dead as a doornail out of the balcony, they're down two men. Now what are you up to, Sugar Fangs? Oh no! You found my hiding place! <laughs> Good job. Uh, 
Oh, shit. Help me. Mom? Is somebody there? Stay where you are, honey. Leisha, help me. That's Richard's servant. Natasha, keep your voice down. There are still people here. Shit, you don't look so good. What did they do to you? We, we hid in here. I was with a vessel that Richard had prepared for the evening. Carmen. I, I was able to conceal the door behind us, but it was too late for Carmen. We were followed. But I got that son of a bitch. Miley, have you seen her? She was... Uh, yeah. Went out to smoke. I, I... Take it slowly. Hear me. The bastards who did this are still here. Just hang in there until they leave and... Too... Late. It's... It's too late. Richard will be proud of you. Wrong emotion to have, dude. <laughs> yes, Pumpkin. It's all right. Oh, it's worse than I thought. But Hazel will be able to get us out of here. So I should just have Auspex on all the time, basically. Because otherwise I don't see all this random shit. What I want to know though is if I press F on one of them, will they, she just start sucking their blood in the middle of the room? Or will that invite them to come into another room, which is what I actually want? Like, you know? Like, how do I do this? I won't be sad when we're through with this. Hmm. Because I really need some more blood. Should I just try it and like fuck my game up? <laughs> uh, should I just do it? Matt, everything in this room is Follow me. It will take a minute. Of course. Ah, oh, thank gosh, it does. Jesus, Laisha, take it fucking easy. Oh. Whoops. And this fucking biting mechanic. Like, nothing was happening in the bar. I don't fucking know with this game. It, it should have a bar progression. Ugh, whatever. This is stupid. This is fucking stupid. Okay? If you're gonna have a time limit, it should fucking have something progressing along the bar so you can see when you need to press F. That just like eh. fuck this game it annoys the absolute shit out of me
not going to waste my blood on that because I don't think that's very useful. At least I have more blood now. I'm not going to even waste it on that either. I don't care that much about having fucked up this playthrough because I'm not hurt. that invested to be honest. So it's fine. Watch where you're putting your feet. Oh, shut up. So how do I get old mate to leave then? Wait a second, now that you mention I really don't have time to do this. <laughs> Zero percent success. Oh! I have blood to be able to do that now. Yeah, cool. Go oh, put away what's on the table. Hi. Okay. Finally. Now I can take a look at those files. More boxes. They're collecting us. I can't believe it. I thought I was meant to be looking at files right now. Targets. Numbered. With names. Target 54. Captured. Wiktor Chen. Severe. Blah, blah, blah. Danger. Blah. <gasps> They even have a file on Richard. Hmm, okay. So I was right. I thought it was weird they weren't killing them, they were subduing I think that's them. Dijon's child. Was, I mean. Hmm. Oh! Miley! They haven't taken her yet. I think that's Dijon. Oh! Miley! They haven't taken her yet. Jara. Okay already evacuated she's on the council I think evacuated. interesting yeah so they are capturing them for some reason all right I need to take this no way I'm letting them keep that okay so now I have some blood let's do this oh can I... They have to get their weapons from somewhere. I don't understand. They showed no Ah, mercy. whatever. Fuck you. They I won't do it the then. Juice bags and kindred alike. Bingo. The files of everyone they're taking away. Taken from living room, observations, little resistance, particularly pale. Oh, okay, so this is just for the z different people. Which one is Miley in? Which one do you want to take down? Okay, this is a no return path. I need to figure out which one was. Sorry, I've got one more thing to do. No problem. Which one Miley was. Adrenaline. That only stimulates mortals. Why can't I take it? I thought there was stuff happening last time I was in here. Was it because my blood was too high? Or low or whatever. My blood Stop. lost. You can't go in there. Monsignor standing orders. No interruptions. So Stanford is back there. But I just wanted to- It's too dangerous and you know it. If you've got something to give him, tell Olsen is novice. Suit yourself. But remember I warned you. If I decide to go in there, I'd better be Olsen. Hmm. 
Okay, so when I take a thing down is the last path. But we'll try to do this first. We'll still be bagging evidence tomorrow at this rate. Ah, uh, he's not Olsen. The other guy's Olsen. Agent Olsen? Yes. I was just thinking that it might be faster. If I just went to tell Monsignor myself. That's out of the question. He abhors being interrupted by anyone except myself. But I... I'll do it. I'm the only novice here. Novice? So they have ranks. It's for your own safety. Trust me. We know so very much. And still... So very little about those we hunt. Hmm. Yeah, I was wondering why they were called novice. I really need to work on my stupid psychology and shit skills. Um. Ah, oh, I'm. I think I did invest in the dominate thing though, so that's cool. And that actually works. You know that I'm a novice like yourself. Yes. Yes, that's right. You think that Monsignor would let me help him? Absolutely if... not. It's clear that I'm the only person he trusts here. Hmm. He's touchy, apparently. Hmm. How do I do the focus thing? Ah, oh, fuck. Why did I get a talent? I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to try doing focus. I'm guessing Monsignor Stanford's uh, not the type you want to piss off, right? An astute deduction. Oh my gosh, that was so stupid. All right, I'll let you get back to work. Ah, oh, no, I can't. Should I try? But I couldn't. Was it because I have Auspex on that it wouldn't let me do it? Why has it got Auspex red? Alright, we're gonna go <laughs> suck someone else's blood and potentially kill them. Because I'm terrible at this game. Who else can we eat? How about you? Follow me. It will take a minute. Right away. Okay, let's try this. One. One, two, three. Gave me a tiny bit of. I just I can't with this game. It's really annoying. So why is that? blacked out for this one. Yeah, 
this told me nothing fucking useful. Not a room with spare. This is so annoying. I want to go in that Olsen? fucking yes. room. <sighs> Shit, this game is annoying. All right, I'll let you get back to work. I think because I failed that check, though, I can't get the third clue, and I can't steal his identity, so... And I can't reveal these other stupid things. Emmett Olsen. What's he going to do with that? Please handle this box with care. Place it on my desk and touch nothing. Pay attention to the direction. This note indicates the top. Leave this note on the box for your colleagues to read as well. Emmett. Oh, there's a note on this one. Yes? I saw your instructions on the containers. Therefore... My research. Oh, you're studying the... Specimens, more or less. I prefer to refer to it as salvation, purification. He's a nut job and a complete fanatic too. But now is neither the time nor the place to discuss theology. Uh, can't argue that, of course. Hmm. So can I actually play? All right, imitate him I'll now? let you get back to work. Perfect. Thanks, Olsen. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Thank God! I was getting so fucking irritated with this. Alrighty. So... Ah, cool. Safe zone. Uh, control. As long as they don't notice that I'm literally standing over there as well. Ah! Sorry, I'm busy. That's not all, but I need to wrap this up. Well, why is there two no return points? Everything seems to be in order here. Is it either that I can save Hazel's kid or I can go in there? Am I fucking stuck? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? This is the most bullshit fucking game ever. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna reload. If this doesn't drop me at this point and I have to redo some tedious shit, I'm gonna be really pissed off. Oh my god, this game. And of course, I'm the one who's gotta start collecting dogs. Literally I cannot. <laughs> okay, I'm back and luckily it did drop me where I am meant to be. Uh, but I did look up a guide because I was like, I was like, is it really not going to let me do both things? Like, can't I just go talk to him and then go pick up Miley? But you do only get to make one Guys choice. Guys sure are efficient. You can say that. Um, you can only make one choice and I wanted to know what the repercussions of that were. Um, so I'll make that choice in a second, but as I was doing that, I found that there's actually something else Medical you can do supplies. that I didn't realize, which was in this box there's a key and you get a first aid kit and then so you get this key then remember when we went over here and there's a first aid kit and she's like oh the adrenaline adrenaline's for humans but you can't take it oh my god 
such thing seems to be in order. Can here. he unlock the fucking thing? Uh, oh my gosh, I could have done that myself. Uh, she unlocks it. You take it. And then you actually Ooh, go scary. and revive the dude that was hanging up in the bondage room. So that's a cool little thing I would have completely missed. So I'm glad I get to see this. I feel like it's quite easy to miss things in this game, which I find a little bit annoying. Oh my god, I shouldn't have done this in as Olsen. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what the fuck? It's too late now, though. Oh no, she's gone back into. <laughs> Calm down. I, I can't feel my legs. I can't, can't move. Well, I mean, you are tied up. I see. Laisha has no um sympathy. She's just like, eh, just tell ask me what, what happened here. Thugs. Uh, armed. No, not thugs. I think they were military. They, they just opened fire. We didn't stand a chance. Who were they? Ah, it hurts. It hurts. Why has he got purple goo on him? Do you know where Miley is? No. Ah, oh, it's wax. I don't. I get it. I saw Amy go and Jara. Did you see Jara? She, she. She fought back. Huh. That's the jar I know. What? They didn't kill her. They took her! Help me. I... You need to make your peace. Wow. Nice, like, humanity there, Glacier. At least I know that Miley wasn't here. She's such a fuckwit. All these characters are assholes. Anyway, so like I was saying, there's actually two choices you can make to finish out this scene or whatever. So you can save Miley, who's in one of these crates, or you can go talk to Stanford or Sanford, whatever his name was, who is actually the villain of the game, apparently. Uh, usually I would want to go the more humanitarian way and save Miley, but the fact that Hazel's a, I won't use the C word, <laughs> Hazel's a, a bitch who, in my opinion, even though Leisha doesn't seem to see it, is just using Leisha and all she cares about is herself. She didn't ask us to save anyone else. Like, she's only self-serving. I actually think it's better for everyone to find out more about old mate's motivations rather than just doing what hazel wants when she doesn't give a shit about anyone else so more of a defiant action we're gonna go end the episode or the scene by going in here mom halsey mommy knows what she's doing go away from me at the elevator I'll be right there. Time, my son. Please, Please forgive me, Monsignor. I'm done with this wretched creature. I'll continue back at headquarters, where I have more appropriate tools. You found some? Speaking of headquarters, any news? Nothing, Monsignor. Bad. I was hoping to hear from our informant. 
And it ferment? No. No, I... no, we have proof that their intel is reliable. Mm. Without the informant, we never would have found them so quickly. And utterly exposed. So we were betrayed. These monsters are as fickle and deceitful as the devil himself. Do you know who... Seeing them turn on each other, it's in their nature. But the one who betrayed them... None the of them inf will ever surprise me, as you would have been wise to consider before approaching me. Uh, I don't understand. Can you actually tell? <laughs> In St. Leopold's name, we will find you all to the very last. Ah, uh, like since the Leopold Society or King Leopold or whatever it was in Bloodlines. Dude, so he was able to see through me. Interesting. Hmm. That was exciting. So that was actually the whole a whole scene, which is good. I neglect failure. You neglected Halsey. I think fucking Halsey had stupid riddles, and she uh, she shouldn't have even fucking been there. Suspicious items missed. So there was one that I missed. Um, okay, four sided blah blah blah. Success, you met the blah blahs and all the things. Okay, so I mean, I only failed two things and there are a lot of successes. It doesn't even list alternatives, so that's fine. I don't really care. Oh, cool, so you do actually get to play all of the scenes. That's good. I was worried they would only let you choose one, like, path. Uh, but I think that's actually a perfect spot to cut this episode. Finally managed to finish a whole stage in one episode. Uh, that was the first stage that I've actually kind of enjoyed. That was, I mean, a lot of parts did irritate me, to be honest. This game just irritates me. I'm sorry. But it was the most enjoyable so far. Actually getting to investigate and find out what actually happened at this freaking party everyone keeps talking about. And there was much less uh, info dumping and reading, which I appreciate. I want to actually play a game. I don't want to be just reading a freaking novel. I want to play the game. And I think the first two stages were too much info dumping of stuff. It should have been a bit more spread out throughout the game. That was a lot more balanced of actually getting to play the freaking game. Uh, I still suck at playing this game, but that's fine. But <laughs> I'll try to split the next episodes between like, uh, like I'll do the whole of like Galeb's stage and Mem stage uh, per episode. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Finally getting a little bit more interesting. But yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.